What is going on guys? We are back with another video and of course we're doing a fantasy rebuild and this time it is an updated one. We have the updated rosters and boy are they not technically good. They're bad for us. So hopefully the number will be the same but if you guys want to see two rebuild reloads this weekend 326 likes on this video. I don't know why 326 came out but 326 and yeah hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vid. We got Jimmy Graham, which is nice. I mean, he's looking all right. But the likes of Devontae Adams is an 85 overall on this roster. Cobb's a 79. I think, um, actually, to be fair, I don't know. Maybe these are, uh, Blake Martinez and only a 78. Let me go, let me back out of this real quick. So first things first, obviously, I'm going to take a look at the talent. The rookies, Josh Jackson, 76 overall. You can't change the dev. But maybe we will. We'll see. Not sure if I really want to, though, to be fair. Jair Alexander is a really bad overall. I'm going to probably adjust some of these players, in my opinion. I don't think a first-round pick should be uh, like a, a really decently high pick, too. Should be a 73 overall in Madden at cornerback. I don't know. Maybe it will be. But I think he should be adjusted. But let's take a look at the regular rosters because I want to see. Is like I don't. Like, the person that made this could have been completely biased. Obviously, even the EA's ratings aren't going to be, like, great. Cobb's an 84, and Devontae's an 88. I don't think Cobb should be, like, a 79 overall on the regular rosters. Maybe when, like, his Mutt card when he comes out. But I think a lot of these are very unfair ratings. You also have Equinemia St. Brown, which uh, I think might be our starter. He's a baller. Uh, he might be one of the starters. Devontae is going to be an 88 overall because Devontae is a number one wide receiver in this league. So I bumped Jair to a 77 overall. Uh, Blake Martinez, I think, should be way higher than a 78. He was an amazing player. So I, blum I, blumped. I bumped uh, Blake to 82. He should have been even higher than that, to be honest. Oren Burks, uh, pretty fast with his Excel. Okay, he's, I'd say he's on par to what he should be. Um, Montrevious Adams. Should he play DT? Kind of like Dean Lowry, though. Well, we have lots of moves to make, and this team's actually not really looking that good in this time period. Des Bryant. A 5.7? Screw it, I'll sign him. Pat, we need some, we need some wide receiver talent now since we let go of, uh, Jordy Nelson. I think it's a completely allowed move. Eric Reed. I don't know why he's not getting signed either. Well, to be fair, I don't know why any of the safeties aren't getting signed. Kenny Vaccaro still there too. Jeez, a 70 overall. Let's sign uh, Eric Reed. We're desperate. So they take... Oh, T. Will. We give them a T. Williams. They give us a T. Williams. They took Casey Hayward off of us. We give them a 4th, 5th, and Tremont Williams for Trevor Williams. Sorry, Tremont, but your return didn't even last a snap. But it makes sense to me. I love me some younger players that aren't about to retire. Crazy how that works. So we get Vince Beagle, uh, Kyler Fackrell, and a next year third round pick for the Giants first round pick this year. So we trade Brett Hundley, Jamal Williams, and Devon House for Quentin Nelson. And that was definitely a steal. Although I will say in real life, uh, Jamal Williams is pretty solid. But obviously that was only a few games. So how long is that going to last? Who knows? Randall Cobb, I think, should have been off the team already in real life. So I'd actually be willing to get rid of Randall Cobb and keep Dez over him. So uh, there's that. And everyone wants to say, oh, Dez this. I, honestly, I'm not even sure why Dez gets so much hate. But, um, well, he is kind of like a drama queen. But other than that, like his skill set gets so much hate. But I think he's still a great player. And people are saying that he was never good. That's just a goddamn lie. I'd rather have Dez here than Cobb, I think. So maybe not in real life because it's hard to, you know, the locker room stuff does matter in real life. And uh, chemistry matters in real life. But in Madden... It is irrelevant. I tried to get Bradley Chubb as well, but that was just not going to happen. Let's just call it that. What overall is Yannick? Really? Only a 79 overall? What the hell? This roster is a joke. Trade Randall Cobb for uh, Harold Landry. Oh, by the way, I got a cheat. 
I get the Saints next year first round. Technically this year. I ain't letting them get off the hook that easily. We would have Derwin James if it wasn't for that. More than likely, at least. There we go. Let's see if we can move Breland for a third round next year. Damn it, I got rid of Kaiser for no reason. They would have taken just King, probably. How are they going to have Jordy Nelson? All right. All right. Whoever does this roster is a stupid person. Like, I'm sorry, because I think it's actually, like, a YouTuber guy that does it, but... How are you going to have Jordy Nelson as a 74 overall? You're going to have him at 74 spec catch? There you go, Jordy. You're a little bit better now. You're a 78 overall. And that's being so disrespectful still. How are you going to have Jordy at 74 spec catch? This roster is almost too much of a joke for me to even continue. But I've already put 30 minutes of effort into it, so that's already 28 minutes too many. We traded Jake Ryan Bulaga in a second round this year for Joey Bosa. An amazing super steal there. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to play Joey, though. If he can play a little bit of linebacker, I will do it. But I don't think he's going to make that transition too well. Now, if we have anything left over, which I think we might, we do need a middle linebacker. We could get one in free agency, though. But the big thing I really want here is a safety. So we have... Two, three, four, five linemen. Could get an upgrade for Lane Taylor, but I think that's fine. AJ Boye, I don't even want it. Damn it! Clay Matthews and Kendricks are Boye. God damn it. Josh Jackson at safety, though. That might be a move. But this is what the roster is looking like. I have no idea who I'm going to put on the um, training. They're going to be Brown, Aaron Jones, and... Honestly, don't know. Either Harold Landry or Josh Jackson, probably. But either way, that's the roster. And that's what we're looking at. So, hoping to Jesus we can uh, pull together at least a 12-win season. Draft stories, we have a running back, Randall Ali, and a probable linebacker, Lennox Fletcher. With the stupid tips on. God damn it. No, I'm not putting them on my draft board. Randall Ali, Superstar Dev, looks okay. Let's take a look at this other guy. He definitely is a linebacker, right? Maybe not. Don't remember his name, but he has a distinct look. So assuming that's accurate. There he is, a right tackle. Okay. Kind of shocked by that. Derek Ali, maybe they're brothers. Honestly, not sure what we're looking for in this draft. Um, Probably nothing. Offensive line. I didn't really even think about it, but there is actually a chance we do bad because our, uh, what is that called? Our DBs are actually not, well, they're not bad, though. DBs aren't the greatest still. Uh, Muhammad Wilkerson's actually asking for a very fair price. So I'm going to give it to him. How much more money do we have? Oh, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. Simming to the playoffs now, hoping to the G and to the sus. That we made the playoffs and maybe even a bye week, maybe. We did get a bye week, got MVP Rodgers on deck. The Vikings lost like four straight. They were right on our tail. Uh, and we were one of the teams to beat the Vikings. Very solid season. Vikings literally four straight losses. They're so close. And they, I mean, they had a chance at the playoffs easily. What a choke job. I don't know if they missed or made, but either way, not great by them finishing Rodgers, super MVP season. Uh, one touchdown for every, was that 100 yards, I guess? 5,300 yards, six picks only. Uh, ground game wasn't great for touchdowns. And Aaron, wow, Aaron Jones was actually really bad. Uh, so, yeah, yes, there we go. I wish St. Brown would have taken some of the touchdowns. Devontae, probably the league's best receiver. Equinemia, St. Brown, over 100 catches. 1,000 yards, 6 touchdowns. Not really a great season. I know it would say it's a great season. Almost four 1,000-yard receivers. An amazing season, though, in general for all of them. But obviously, yards per catch was very bad for Equinemius. Uh, sack total, Mike Daniels. Harold Landry. Really, where's Bosa? A half a sack for Bosa. And I did have us in a 3-4. Holy crap. That is embarrassing. Kick returning... 
Equinemius, I put him there just for the just for the cheese, hopefully. Second in offensive yards, defensive yards, seventh, and then scoring probably number one, top three at least. Number one, yearly awards. We had number one, nothing else. Coach of the year, not even close, apparently. Rodgers, player of the year. Defensive player of the year, no. Offensive rookie of the year, Aaron Jones was five. Equinemius at nine. Defensive rookie of the year, not even close. QB Aaron Rodgers, running back, shouldn't even be top ten, yeah. Wide receiver, of course, Devontae. Des Bryant at five. Equinemius misses. O-line, has a couple of guys there, actually. Linebacker, no. DB, Josh Jackson, no. He was so close. That would have been huge. That would have been such a huge win. But if Josh played that well to get to number two for best DB, he should have a ton of XP. Going against the Giants who made the playoffs. Okay. Saquon makes them a playoff team, I guess. Uh, wow, Quentin Nelson. I was simming some of their XPs. Oh, no. That's what... I was wondering why everyone was such a high overall already. It's because I had the damn XP slider on. That was what I forgot to do. I forgot to take off the... Um, yeah, the progression. Damn it. Either way, I mean, the, their overalls are pretty good, so it seems as if they did a good job. Let's see, what do they do with Equinemius? I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. Look at that. Okay. I'm not mad at all. You could... Phew. That's not bad at all. Quentin Nelson. Pretty damn good. Jimmy Graham, what is he looking like? Quick dev. Bumped him a bit. Offensive line looking pretty solid. Defense. Harold Landry's looking okay. Joey Bosa didn't get like any XP. Josh Jackson started with quick. Here he is at super. Uh, they did not touch his man coverage. It does suck because don't get me wrong, I don't mind Josh Jackson being the starting, like the starting star safety, but I definitely intended him to go back to corner. But those chances are kind of over. At least they're kind of ruined, so he's probably going to stay safety. And it's all right, because he is on the slower side. So, you know, I'm not really even mad what the AI did there. I, I think they did a damn good job. 91 overall to their 80 over. Like, once again, I don't know how the hell the Giants made the playoffs there. I really I, I need to see Saquon Barkley after this, though. So, of course, the bye week gives us that, uh, that free playoff win, technically. Going against the Giants, I mean, this is... This is kind of an easy one, I would assume. I mean, this seems like an easy shot to the championship game, in my opinion. We're going left to right and honestly not looking great. Defense is really the one winning this game. Like, Rodgers and company should have put up by 30 by now. This defense is, like, Hall of Fame worthy right here. The way they're playing, at least. I don't know about the overalls, but... 17-6. to six. I mean, are we serious? Fumble recover. What the hell? What the hell is going on? I'm so confused. All I know is that we're choking the game away. And just like in true Packers fashion. Did we just choke the game? I actually don't know what the hell is going on here. If the ball keeps moving back and forth. I think we fumbled like 56 times. And a fourth and five, we miss a 57 yard field goal. Are we like. What is going on here? I don't even know, lads. We won by 10. Whoop. Hands down, and I say it sometimes, the weirdest game ever. Literally, I can't even stress that enough, that I am not, I'm not, like, going above and beyond being extra dramatic. This is legit the weirdest game I've ever played here. Like, the, the weirdest sim match of all time. Not even a question. How many times did we throw picks or fumbles? Because it had to be a ton. We did fumble twice, so it, I, that kind of, you know, made sense. Don't know if it would show receiver fumbles. Defensively, sack totals, Kenny Clark, Joey Bosa. We actually did have a lot of sacks. The defense, one of the greatest performances of all time. At least that's the way it seems. I mean, they were locking up. I didn't even pay attention to the yardage on the Giants side, but the way the offense played, we should have lost. We really should have. 93 to their 88. So we're looking pretty damn strong already after one season. Got to be able to hold this on, I think. I mean, the way we played, we probably lose this game. But the way we should play hopefully has us winning, right? 10 to 7. Offense is just struggling so hard, man. 
Start of the second half, and we are in the... Wow! Offense is so bad. Yeah, we are not going to win this game. Absolutely dominated. Holy shit. I'm actually a little frustrated, not going to lie. I'm going to play a couple of snaps. Screw it. We were in color rush in a playoff game? What the hell is wrong with us? Chuck one equanimous. Not a chance. Gonna let the game go on. 52 to 59 to 17. Holy crap. The Saints are easily winning the zoo rule. Not even a question about it. Dominated. Never been more embarrassed in my life. Rodgers with two picks. Aaron Jones fumbles. We got we gave up almost 300 yards to Alvin Kamara. It's pretty cool. So the defense was horrendous this match like just absolutely horrendous i mean what is life Deion jones outplayed his heart out don't even know what that means outplayed his heart out what are we stupid who nation wins 35 to 24 over the chargers all right so des bryan finally gives us a chance to re-sign him he wants a four-year deal i don't think we can do that though how much is the wide receiver tag gonna be though oh crap he took the deal Whatever, about 10 mil a year. Gave Jordy that when he was a little bit older than that, I thought. So, why not give it to Dez, right? Jonathan Hankins leads the talent in the free agency. Will Lutz needs a, needs a contract on this team, doesn't he? Somehow we didn't get the kicker. All right. Coaching, or not coaching, scouting. We get to see the combine grades. Randall Ali, who has superstar dev, very good three cone and 20 yard shuttle. However, that 40 yard dash kind of reads like 88, 89 speed, which isn't bad, but definitely not worth a starting pick, in my opinion. Quarterback, we're not looking to draft one right now because Rodgers should be fine for the entire rebuild, but always looking for great talent, as usual. A runner receiver. What is this guy supposed to be a tight end? So wide receiver is a kind of a need for us. Joe Fenderson. Donovan O'Reilly. Got a couple of guys late here. Francis Byram might be decent. Banks Bowers, not a chance. Fleming, not a chance. Might draft him just because we're desperate, though. They scouted literally every player. So there's a couple of guys. Really not a whole lot, though. Well, I think we're ready to go. There's really not a whole lot I want here. A lot of like mid slash early seconds that we might have to take late first. So our highest pick is number seven. So thank God we didn't want someone high. Number seven, number 14, and number 27. Jesus, I was really bad with guessing teams. Maybe uh, that's how we see it in real life too. Yeah, he's on a contract year right now. So I think I might have to go Hogan. So number one overall pick was Hill. Wait, that DT's still there? I'm going to take Martin Sullivan. He didn't have superstar dev? Either way, he's an amazing player. He was supposed to be the number one overall talent, and I could see it. Absolutely insane player. I think we can go to 14 without losing anyone. Ooh, 27. Mm, you got to be kidding me. Number 26? Really? They take him number 26. So they're, if they're all mids, we're going to go Freddie Harbour. 78 overall, perfect player. A little bit on the slower side, but still a great player. And this is why I wish the game didn't auto-develop uh, Josh Jackson, because this guy probably makes an insane safety better than Josh could. So Jets and Buccaneers, I think I might need to make a trade for both of their picks. Let's make sure we want the guys now. So we have a middle linebacker and a wide receiver. So the middle linebacker I think I definitely want. Yeah, Todd Warlow. Here we go. Slow Dev. I mean, he's still good, though. Slow Dev, really. And I think the wide receiver we definitely want. Banks, Smallwood. Normal Dev, but a really great wide receiver. And with that speed, Excel, and agility, he should make a great kicker turner. Now what is left in the draft? Because we had a center we wanted. 
Fourth and a fifth next, Ian Blake Martinez. What a steal. I don't know why, but the AIs are really good at trading now. Like, all of a sudden, they're just great at trading. Hopefully that center is still there. That's all I want in life. Mr. Center guy. Zach Nielsen should be a great pick. Really a 74 overall player. Superstar dev, though. Number seven overall, we took Martin Sullivan, a great DT, who probably replaces Mike Daniels on the defensive line, unless we put Kenny Clark there. It depends who's better. Freddie Harbour, a, uh, a solid replacement for Trevor, Trevor Williams, who doesn't need a contract now. Warlow, replacement for uh, Blake Martinez. Will he start over Deion Jones, though? I don't know. Bank Smallwood, the slot receiver for the team now. Des, we just contracted. We can turn him into some good pick. I don't know. Zach Neal's in a great center. Little low on the strength, but just enough, I think, to be good. So, Vladimir obi -Ozor, a quick dev. Great player all around, but he's old as hell. Dixon Harrington, great player, superstar dev. Took in, or taken 14th corner we took was number two in the first round, so obviously we saved quite a bit of money. Tyree Simmons, good uh, linebacker for pass rush and coverage. Would have been a great player for, like, the Patriots. Travis Hogan, superstar dev. Damn. Yeah, he uh, would have shitted on Sullivan, but it'd be what it'd be. Desrick uh, Wimbley, interesting. Long Floyd Texans with a little bit of a steal here. Not a bad player, nice steal. Thomas Taylor, good coverage guy, probably. Vikings with a steal of a running back, and he's a white guy, which is really shocking. Quick dev, interesting. That's a really weird type of player. I'm surprised that was there. Bears bust. And then Lennox Fetcher, or Fletcher, Oh my god, I did not know his combine was that bad for his strength. I didn't look at that. Still, not a bad player, but not too mad we missed on him. They gave Randall Ali 92 speed out of 448. What a joke. If you get a middle linebacker with a 4 like 51, you get like 88 speed. That is so sad. But that was season 1, not a bad season. Got destroyed by the Saints, which sucks, but we come back stronger than ever usually. Do we want to get rid of Mike Daniels, though? I mean, Sullivan's a steal. Not really a steal. Number seven wasn't really a steal, but Sullivan is a great player, though. I don't know. Offensive lineman, I think the guy we drafted will start over Lane Taylor or we trade for someone. Equinemius, regardless of Des Bryant's future, will be number two, but I think we will be getting rid of Des Bryant. And then defense, we don't... I just don't know. Des Bryant, a second and a first for Jalen Ramsey. We're now the Jags at cornerback. <laughs> we do not need Boye, though. Boye, Lane Taylor, and Daniels. I want a top-tier lineman. I want the best lineman in the league, which ironically might be Quentin Nelson. Ram check, though. I'm going to look around the league, see if I can see a lineman in the top four. Easy trade. Good for them. They made a great trade there. Trade Everett in a second round for the Lions first round pick. So we say screw the rookie program. We go Mike Daniels, Warlow, and a fourth round next year for CJ Mosley. Given as our starting lineup, Mosley will start over Deion Jones just because he's more talented. <laughs> it's pretty obvious there, but just in case you uh, weren't on board, team's looking pretty good. Barry Church needs to go. He's way too expensive. Four mil for 75 overall dinosaur. So I like the potential of this season looking solid. Yeah, I like this line. I like everything. I like everything about this team. The running back position could get an upgrade, though, to be fair. Defensively, so we just need some depth, and then we're good to go. So re-signings, we have Ali Marpet. Definitely worth the money. His offer is perfect. CJ Mosey wants a six-year deal. What in the world? What is with these six-year deals? Calm down. Clint Dix wants that much money. Because I moved the da <laughs> moved the years down one, I can't be giving a six-year deal out to a middle linebacker backer that will be 32. Clint Dix, fair enough, because he'll be 31. Still doable. 
Oh, wow. Okay. That's how we're going to play it? Clinton Dix can go suck one. He really can. I don't care. Go for it. Going on to the playoffs. Hopefully, we are that team. You know, the team that wins. That's that's what I'm talking about with the team. Please, another bye. Just the playoffs, to be honest. But a bye week would be nice. And there it is. MVP again. 13-3 and three again. We finished nicely. We were like 7-3 and three at some point, I believe. Yeah, we went on a huge streak near the end there. That's beautiful. Of course, Rodgers being the MVP again. Uh, much worse season, though. Not even close. Uh, and the rushing touch. Wow, our points scored weren't really that great. Aaron Jones is not the guy either, either by the way. Well, Bank Smallwood had a great season. I don't know what it is, but uh, Equinemius St. Brown literally just uh, he gets so many catches. He doesn't get the yards that he really should. Jimmy Graham had, Jimmy Graham had a down season. Offensive line, amazing. Really amazing considering I actually have everyone at their proper positions. Ali Marpet as a right tackle only gave up one sack. It's amazing. Sack total, uh, speaking of, not bad for the defensive line actually. You know, kind of combined for what, 40 sacks there? Maybe like 55 on the team? That's not bad. Pick total, Jalen Ramsey had 12. Mosley had 5. Jalen Ramsey with 12 picks. Clearly... Green Bay brings the best out of everyone. Question, no question about it. Went down from two, from two to seven, and from number seven to two, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. MVP, no one else on the list. Uh, Rodgers with number two uh, behind uh, Gurley, though. DJ Mosley, best defender. Uh, Jalen had to be up there, really? Not up there? Offensive rookie of the year, Smallwood. That's a huge win for us. Defensive rookie Sullivan and Harbor. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Jones is actually on the list at number nine this time. Smallwood and Adams right behind Julio. A 6 and 10 Falcons team. Quentin Nelson with Offensive Lineman of the Year. That's nice. CJ Mosley, best DB. Or LB. Best DB. Ramsey, best kicker. Will Lutz, number two. It's a damn good season, though. Better than last year, technically, even though the yards were down. Ah, ooh, the Eagles. Yikes. Smallwood, 55K. That's easy money. Brown, 29K. Quentin, really 30K. That's not bad. Nielsen, sadly, did not get like anything. Defensively, a little bit for Landry. Sadly, Josh Jackson didn't have another one of those seasons. Jalen had a bunch of XP, even though he's uh, already a 99. So we will use some XP. Hopefully, we can get the wide receiver trait. We can. I will take the wide receiver trade over the D-line trade because we have so many good youngsters. This should be a Super Bowl team. We were close last year. We're even better this year, especially at wide receiver. Look at the, like, oh my lord. He's such a freak. He really is. I mean, look at him. Play any position on the field. How do you beat him? I don't think you can. All right, looking at the team now. What do we got? So Nielsen, sadly, is still low overall, but the rest of the offensive line is amazing. Jimmy Graham might need to be replaced. Equinemius somehow is only an 89 overall. Smallwood's already higher than him in one season. I mean, he looks amazing to me. I don't see why he's only an 89, 90, whatever. Uh, Aaron Jones is an 88 overall. Defense, looking pretty good. Deion Jones really not developing. Same with um, Jair. Jair is not developing at all. Uh, defensive line is great. I mean, this is, I think, easily a Super Bowl squad. 93 to their 90. I'd say we're probably 95, 96 by now. Uh, I also think we might have to tag Mosley. Like I said, I don't think I can give him a five-year deal. Hocklin, Dix, I'll let go because this could be the year where some of the good safeties are in anyways. But more importantly, um, just Clinton Dix. I don't know, though. To be fair, like he might be really cheap to tag, while Mosley might not be worth the tag. You know, it's easier to get a, uh, a a good linebacker than it is to get a good safety, in my opinion, in the draft. Lots of turnovers, and we're... Oh, my Lord. Are we going to lose again? Okay, start of the fourth. It's looking okay. Packers just like real life. I mean, look at this. Oh! Uh, okay. I... 
I'll take it. Fumble recovery for a touchdown. Not bad. Jalen Ramsey, like I said, best defender. Look at how bad we are. We're such a trash team. We've lost again. Little third and 12, we give that up. Yeah, we lost. Come on, team. And Rodgers throws a pick. We lose. 37 to 26. Get a bye week, and then we lose. Nice. We're just like the real-life Packers. We are a great regular season team. Once the playoffs hit, we fall apart. This is your MVP. Four picks. Aaron Ripkowski had a passing touchdown. Aaron Ripkowski is the best quarterback in the league. How do we play this badly? How? Every playoff game, even the Giants game was bad. Well, either way, I'm playing this last season. This has reload written all over it because... It's a great team that is somehow underperforming. And that's how you get to the reloads. Of course, we usually let the AI uh, do the scouting. So quarterback Carter Kreider, or Crater is the new MVP of all stars. That was the Eagles. Okay, so 35 to 28 is the win. I do not know who needs contracts other than CJ Mosley and Clinton Dix. Of course, CJ Mosley still wanting similar to what he wanted already. But I think that's a fair deal. The bonus, how much is the bonus? 12 mil bonus. We can deal with that. If I have to, I'll lose him. Not interested in re-signing. 7 mil tag. So, if we're going to tag one or the other, Clinton Dix is more important to this team. Clinton Dix is more important, period. Don't need to argue anything else. I'm going to let everyone else go. Hopefully, they don't auto-sign. So, we have about 25 mil to spend on a middle linebacker if we want one. CJ Mosley is there. He's being led by the Dolphins here. It's all right with me, though. We will go with some randomer. Wow, Jason Verrett is a th an 81 overall. He's still not bad, but... Whoa, holy crap. A 7.6 running back? I think we might have to draft him because Aaron Jones is, is playing very poorly. There's no way around that. Schlechka. Oh, I like that guy. Dustin Schlechka. He's actually really slow, though. Oh, God, the Ds. So we have the four, or the fifth overall pick, the sixth overall pick. I don't remember if we went for three. We did. Number 13. All right. We got a free save as number one talent. Interesting. So there were some linebackers in here that we were really interested in. Paris Upshaw is the best middle linebacker, I think. He's a little bit on the slower side, but I think he's the best. Late first. Okay. And we had another guy who was a mid. No, he's an early second. All right, early second. So a late first and an early second, both pretty much the same projection, in my opinion. A 4 3 6 at wide receiver. Little on the smaller side, though. Can't play no wide receiver or tight end, anyways. Schlechka, he's a late first. I don't think he's worth a pick, though. We had a running back. Denario Bird. So we have like three late firsts. So we'll probably have to move these down for number 20 picks. I don't know why same year trades are so like same same year first round picks go for like nothing. I don't know why. Like you can't. Like if you trade them for next year, you can literally land their entire team. But if you want to stay in the draft in the first round, you're screwed. Makes no sense at all. Like I should easily get a second for this. Well, I guess to be fair, they almost did. Should be getting more than a second, realistically, but I can I'll take what I can get. There we go. We do have number 13 as well. So if we have a guy we really want, maybe we'll take him at 13. They gotta be that middle linebacker, actually. Upshaw, there we go. Normal dev, 80 overall. Kind of like a, a perfect type. Big hit power. A little bit on the slower side, but his Excel and shit should be good. I don't know why I said shit, but... Yeah, 90 Excel, 85 Agility. Like I said, slower, but amazing middle linebacker. Number one middle linebacker for us now. Please be there, running back. Brackenridge, early second round, taking him right now. 82 overall. A little bit on the slower side again, but... An amazing player. Don't know what the hell to do with him, but... Over that running back still there, and he is. Schlechka goes one big before. That would have been annoying if I wanted him. Running back, Denario Bird, should be a great player. 
78 overall, amazing speed though. We're gonna go Philip Peters. I wasn't going to, but they gave him slow dab, but amazing talent. Like, look how good he is. Agility's bad, but his, spe his speed and ex uh, Excel is really good. A great, I mean, a great pass rusher. Super steal there. And that's the draft. So I really want to see that running back. Really want to see that guard. Everyone else, not really that interested. So Parrish Upshaw should be our starting middle linebacker, but I'm not guaranteeing it. Because if Brackenridge is decent at middle, he might be there. I don't know. It's really tough. Like you look at the comparisons, I will say Upshaw is built a little bit better for a linebacker just for his speed and excel and agility. But you compare the two, I guess let's look at the this is coverage. So uh, play rec's a little bit better on um, Brackenridge. Hit power's much better. Tackling's a little worse. Block shed's a bit better. Uh, pass rush ability's better on Upshaw. Pursuit's a bit up uh, better. Coverage slightly better for Brackenridge. So they're both very similar in skills. I don't even know, honestly, who I would rather start. Denario Bird, an amazing running back for a user league. But in this scenario, I don't know if he starts over Aaron Donald. Phillip Peters, slow dev, great backup. Henry Mitchell, great backup DT. So a really good draft again. And now we're just going to look for the... Ooh, what a, quarter, what a quarterback. 83 speed, really? How was he that good? He didn't look that fast unless... I thought he had like a 4.84. I guess that's actually pretty decent speed for a quarterback. Uh, but I'm really looking for the uh, the guard, which we know is the Steelers, and then the running back, who I might miss because he's probably going to be a second-round player. What a, what a damn corner there. So here's the, uh, the lineman, Ryan Berger. Thought he would have been better, but still a great pick. Here he is, Giorgio Chapman, superstar dev from the Titans. He's kind of fun, too, because he's short. Thing is, superstar dev's nice, but our guy is better because this guy, A, obviously nowhere near as fast. B, he is shorter. It's more fun, but he is shorter, which is technically a negative. And the biggest one is no trucking and very average elusiveness, which are the two very expensive skills. Uh, what was his agility? 90 agility. He's still a great running back, an amazing running back, but clearly I'd rather have my guy. David Leinart for the Bears, a decent quarterback. Don't know why they would have taken him. Who's this Compton guy? 78 overall, quick dev, amazing safety, young as hell. Wish he had the, the hip power, but he's still a great core um, safety anyways. Schlechka, superstar dev. Okay, that's a little bit shocking. Uh, 76 speed, kind of reminds me of the guy we have in the Cowboys League. You know, great excel, great agility, terrible speed. But I think the guy in our Cowboys is a little bit better technically. I know he has quick dev versus this guy's superstar, but our guy had a little bit better excel and speed and... Uh, Better catching stats. Marvin Gilbert. This guy uh, slipped to the second round. So pretty damn good running backs in this draft. Chandler Pepe. Some pretty good uh, players. This is a really good draft. But I think that's pretty much it. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. We probably have a couple of guys that we might get rid of. But for the most part, I think we're pretty much ready to go. Smallwood at the three. Offensive lineman. Jimmy Graham's getting bad, though. Still quick dev, but Jimmy Graham's getting bad. How much is he costing these days? Nah, he's actually really cheap. Defense. Upshaw's the starter. Cornerback should be a better, to be honest, but actually we might have to make a trade at corner. Jair might need to be traded. I don't know if he's worth it anymore. He's just not getting it done. Inches. But we'll give up the first. So Brackenridge, a Jair, and a first round for Marcus Peters. Huge win for the Rams there. We didn't win at all on that trade. Not even a question. They made a great trade there. A second this, a second next, and Wells for the Texans' first round pick. I believe we're ready to go into the season, though. I just got to adjust the lineup, sign some backups, and we ready to go. Wait a minute. What the hell have I been doing? I don't think I was starting Norwell this whole time. I'm almost certain Norwell did not start. You guys are probably screaming. Team's looking pretty solid, though. Got a couple of holes, but overall, we should be good enough to win. Bird's a really good kick returner. That's nice. Bird could get some, uh, you know, much-needed uh, XP. We about to be broke. We about to be broke. Oh, hell yeah, we are. We're about to be broke. Holy Jesus. 
Okay, how much money? Please, over 100 mil. Pretty close. Clint Dix wants a five-year deal. I don't know why he wants so much money. Clint, Kenny Clark, we will give him a seven-year deal. I am so ecstatic that the Packers have um, Kenny Clark in real life because if he's actually the real deal like he seems to be, he could be on this team for ages. He's so young. He's drafted like 20 years old. It's amazing. But you can't, at least as a franchise player, be like, damn. Packers got themselves a guy. Like, that youth is insane. Obviously, it comes down to how great he is. Wow, Josh Jackson is a piece of you know. Wow. Jimmy Graham, obviously, at 32, is not going to get a deal extending him until he's 36. Clint Dix probably goes as well. Actually, I'm going to knock this out right away. I'm not going to do it. I should not have done that. Probably should not have done that. Pretty sure that means I can't tag him either. Jimmy Graham, that's fine. What's what's so bad about this? I'm giving them the offer that they say is fair. Okay, I mean, a couple extra 500k both sides. Well, not even really 500k both sides, just 500k one side. Jimmy Graham is trash. <laughs> to the old playoffs. Should be in the playoffs again. The first two seasons, we were great. This season, we're amazing. Hopefully. Hopefully the rookies show up. They do, and... Rodgers wins MVP three straight years, which I've never seen. But does he really deserve it? I think, honestly, like, I know... Well, to be fair, I don't know how it's voted on, to be to be fair. But I personally, if I was one of the voters, I would definitely consider playoff play for my MVP choice. Like, I know regular season, it's what it's about. Finally, Aaron Jones has his best season yet. Not that that was a great season, but... Ooh, damn, receiving was great this year. Again, but... I'd be like, I can't give Aaron Rodgers MVP. He threw four picks in his last playoff game. I ain't about that life. See you later. That's what I would say, at least. Totally ruining Bosa, by the way. <laughs> totally ruining him. He's playing well, considering. Bird. Kick returning, just not a thing for the Packers at all. Number four out. Defense being... Number two. Scoring being probably number one. Number one. MVP Rodgers again. NFC side, Defensive Player of the Year. We had number four, number five, and number ten. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Bird, number three, shockingly. And because for some reason Upshaw was being bounced around, he did not even get close to Rookie of the Year. Devontae Adams, best wide receiver. Smallwood and Brown at number seven and eight. O-line, all five are there. Best D-line, no. Best linebacker, no. Best DB, Josh Jackson at four. Kicker, Lutz at number two again. Constantly getting the shaft. Who are we playing against in the divisional? The Cowboys. Okay, that's interesting. XP, uh, not looking too crazy. Nielsen? Yeah, there we go. Nielsen replaces uh, Lindsley. Actually, probably instantly. Probably replaces him right away. Let's just knock that out right away. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. I mean, this is all of that's... I mean, he's already developed. Plus, he started with Superstar, I'm pretty sure. Would suck if he would have lost it. Honestly, when I looked, I, I honestly thought it was going to be gone. 89 overall should be the starter. If Ekwin MES plays in real life like he did in this league, or not even really plays... I don't know how well he's played, but if he just develops the way he did, oh my god, the Packers are unstoppable. So this is the uh, the overalls of what we are going to be going into the next season with. Well, not next season, I don't know what I'm saying. Into the postseason. That's the season we're talking about. Uh, six linemen with 90 plus overall, pretty much. Linebacker core inside-wise could get better, but it is what it is. Kenny Clark, all of them. I don't know what it is, but like... The Packers scheme is just so terrible for pass rush. Maybe just the 3 4 in general is. Who do we go with that's a good. Like, is there really a team in real life that's a great 3 4 that great, gets a lot of sack totals? But either way, a 96 overall to their 88, and we haven't even gotten the upgrade. Uh, like, we might be a 97, maybe 98. We'll see. Like, why are we struggling so much? We have an insane team. Start of the fourth. Can't get anything. Like, look at us. There we go. Defense clutches up. Third and ten conversion. 
We, oh my God, we have the lead. Why are we so bad? Defense clutching up. Three minutes left to lose the game still. And there's, that's probably the punt that loses the defense is so good. Packers defense is so good. How is that possible? Let me come out here. Actually, no, I won't because we actually have a chance to win automatically. Oh, what is this? Do I need to cheat? Fourth and ten. They missed the field goal. And by cheat, I don't know why I would say cheat because technically we deserved it. We win the game on a touchdown. So embarrassing this team is. It really is. Uh, Dak Prescott. Aaron Rodgers at least played okay. Aaron Jones actually kind of balled out of his mind. Sack totals. Not really much on defense. Just kind of played well. Going on to the championship game. I don't know why we're struggling so much. It makes no sense to me at all. But at least we're back in the championship games for the first time since season one. Great. The Eagles. What over are they versus us? So we're still only a 96, but they are a 91. So that's not too bad. Can we get to the Super Bowl? Come on. And early on, it's 3-0. Defense locking up pretty damn well. First, I mean, that was a really good defensive performance. So far, the defenses are doing very good on both sides. It's a 9-3 game starting in the second half. We score a touchdown finally. Start of the fourth, and what? maybe it's maybe we have some issue with our offensive line penalty traits or something. I don't know what it is because you see a lot of bars going back, like a lot of yellow. We punt it to them. Oh, my Lord. And it's pretty much over. What a joke. How is this team that bad? Small wood on the outside. Who's this? Wims the randomer gets the score. Obviously needing the onside kick here. Here it is. The Super Bowl winless rebuild. Ooh, that was a really good kick in all fairness. Gonna let it sim just in case the AI screws it up. AI does it for us all the time. And we lose by three. That's the rebuild. Oh my god. Rodgers is just not a playoff quarterback. AI, AI really hates us. Like, how are we not winning these games? What are we, two and two, two for three? Like, two and three, anyways? Two wins, three losses in the playoffs. Pretty sure. That's embarrassing with this squad. 96 overall. Like, be honest. Don't be biased. Tell me that this isn't a Super Bowl squad. <laughs> Zane Brown is insane. Quinn Nelson. Insane. Smallwood. Pretty damn insane in my opinion. Aaron Jones is pretty good. I don't understand why Aaron Jones was so bad either. It doesn't make any sense. Jimmy Graham's like the worst player on this team, and he's still good. Harold Landry, pretty good. Sullivan. I mean, there's really not bad players on this team. Josh Jackson. Take a look at the rest of the league, though, and see the rookies. So Bears, Roquan Smith, who is now 25 years old. Superstar Dev. Great player isn't, like, the greatest, but still a great player. So Malik Jefferson, there's uh, the Bengals' Malik Jefferson. Looks pretty good to me. Screw it, we're going to go in order. Why not? Baker Mayfield, 77 overall. Quick dev, terrible. On one, we know that's a great steal, or not steal, but great player pick. Saquon Barkley, amazing. 96 elusiveness. Number one halfback. Jets, we had a couple of looks at this. Kind of a bust. Ooh, they made a great pick with Crater, though. Sam Darnold. He's a great quarterback in Madden, but they didn't really develop him well. Let's go back to the Browns for Denzel Ward. Denzel Ward, 81 overall. Did not develop at all. Broncos for Chubb. 88 overall for Chubb. Not bad. Normal dev. Tried to trade for him. We already have Quinn Nelson. Bills, Josh Allen. I don't even know if he would have started, actually. We did start. So far, the best of all the quarterbacks. McGlinchey. 
Average, not really great. Let's go to the Cardinals for Josh Rosen. 81 overall, good player. Minka Fitzpatrick, good player, probably the best we've seen so far, other than um, Saquon, of course. Vita Bay, not bad, superstar dev. Redskins, did they trade him? Or Deron Payne playing left end, not great. Geis actually turned out to be an amazing player, 93 overall. Marcus Davenport, I don't know if he started at all. Really good player, though. Jermaine Edmonds knew he was going to be great. Normal dev, 88 overall, super beast. Derwin James, normal dev, amazing player. Pretty good upgrade. Now Jair, where is Jair? Jair Alexander, 84 overall, quick dev. Great man, terrible zone, not bad. Obviously, we know that we didn't really, he didn't really develop for us. Leighton Vanderatch, you can see that. Oh, superstar dev, you can see that. Pretty much all the linebackers were solid. Ragnar. Average. Billy Price, 85 overall, not bad. Sean Evans, only an 82 overall, really. It's actually kind of shocking. Isaiah win for the uh, the Patriots, a huge win. <laughs> great, great player there. DJ Moore, superstar dev they got him, but overall-wise, he's not great. Ravens, uh, they don't even have... Hayden Hurst. I don't know where the hell he is. Hurst went to the Titans, apparently. Yeah, not feeling that. Falcons. I do not see Ridley. Gonna have to take a look at that somewhere. Somewhere around here. Phone James Washington. Ah, here he is. The Ravens somehow got Ridley. Who is just like everyone thinks. A reach. Kind of went in order. Some of them I went out of order. Rashad Penny, he's 85 overall, which isn't bad because he shared carries with Duke Johnson probably after maybe the first or second season. Vikings cornerback, Mike Hughes, didn't really develop. And then the Jags at DT, don't see him. Damn, I don't see Taven Bryan. I'm actually not going to look for him because he's probably lost in the, uh, in the fog there. I don't think uh, Lamar Jackson will be decent. Lamar Jackson, 74 overall. Probably should be faster than that. Speed-wise, at least, a little bit faster. And then the Patriots. Sonny Michelle. Average. So, I mean, that's going to be the rebuild. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sadly, didn't win very many games at all. Uh, I might have had something in the beginning, but 326 likes is going to be the goal for uh, doing two reloads this weekend. So if we hit that, 326 likes, we will do three reloads. Three, two, two reloads. Going to be a 1,000 likes to do three reloads. Hell no, I ain't no doing no three. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if you've seen a Fortnite video earlier today. Probably not, but maybe you did. If not today, tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys come back for the next video. But until the next video, see ya.